What's up guys, I'm FN Hate It, and today I have a sponsored video! Whoa, hold on to the confetti and congratulations real quick. I don't know if this is actually a sponsored video. I don't know what this is. Look, they gave me products to review. I'm gonna give an honest, brutal review on each individual item. AMVR is a company that does VR accessories for a wide variety of VR headsets. Now, I got an Oculus Quest 2, so they sent me products specifically just for Quest 2, which makes sense, honestly. All their products come with warranty. They have a vast variety of accessories and so far the quality level, the quality level is very legit. Especially considering their competitors are uh, <laughs> not so friendly on the budget. First thing they sent me was earmuffs. Now I have a headset so I might be a little biased when it comes to this. First off the earmuffs get installed over this little post right here and it will redirection the speaker from blasting all over just to where it will direction right into your ear hole. Yes, like that. So here's what they look like installed. You can see that this is a lot cheaper than headphones, like good headphones, because the speakers in Oculus are actually really good. And just the fact that they can just get redirection right into your ear as if you're wearing headphones is great. It still bleeds out a little, so it doesn't hold all of the sound in, so it messed up with recording, so that's why I'm just running with my headphones. So they sent me a facial. Now, I've been recording with this facial for about a week now, and there, there has been pretty much a night and day difference as far as comfort goes. Like, now I just gotta get an extended battery because now, like, being in two hours in this shit, it doesn't, it doesn't wear on your eyes or anything, you know? If you got the original foam piece that I'm talking about, then you know what I mean about the comfort of it. Because when you're moving and just the weight of the headset, the friction up against your forehead and around, it just gives you this raccoon eye looking shit when you're done, and... People know when you've been in VR, they're like, dude, you've been living in there? Like, well, I only played for 30 minutes today, but you know, I was playing Throw the Fight. I was sweating it off. <laughs> now, this is actually off of their website. It shows you how to put it together. Again, the link's gonna be down there in the description. It'll take you to all of this. And I do recommend this personally, and it's not because they sent it to me, it's because just the simple fact that this feels very comfortable, a lot better than some of the other ones that I have tried. Honestly thought this was going to be very expensive, but it, it, to my surprise, it is not. All of this is Velcro, which I thought was actually really smart on their part because you just rip it off and you just throw a different one on, right? Now, you can't stack them, unfortunately. Like, you can't just throw a foam piece down and then throw another one over the top, like, if you want to be farther away. Uh, what I ended up doing was just using my Oculus Spacer because I have to be a little farther away. My eyelashes just sit there and grind up against the lenses and that's just annoying as shit to me. The only thing I'd kind of complain about is like this, like they could have just made another piece that actually fit. But what this is, is like if you're still getting light leakage, you just peel this up and then you lay another piece of foam down and then it's like there. The next thing they sent me was the head pad. Now you can see that I don't have the original Oculus strap. That was the first thing I got rid of because I like the crank down. This is like the little welder's helmet. Now this is not AMVR. This is actually a different company. So the head pad that they sent me will not work on it because it goes strictly for the OEM headband that came with Oculus Quest 2. The thing I could say about these, the quality of it, it feels really good. And if I had the head pad, this would probably be very good to have, you know? But again, I am a... I am a stickler for this. Ever since I got the crank down part of it, oh yeah. But that is it for the reviews. Hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully I helped some of you guys make your decision as far as they go. I really hope that they actually send me some grips for the controllers because they got some grips and they also have like silicone stuff that goes around, like the silicone cover for the headset. I'm actually looking into that next. I was, because I want to kind of protect the white. The white dirties so fast. Like, that's what I hate about white stuff, like white products, but yeah. That's all the time I have for you today, and I hope I see you next time. Peace out till then.